Okay, we're on the last section of, uh, uh, or the last part of conceptual physics chapter 11, uh, the atomic uh, nature of matter. And we're gonna discuss uh, molecules in this slide. Uh, let me dismiss my, uh, my image so as not to interfere with the slides. Uh, a molecule is two or more atoms bonded together. And they show some examples here. NH3 is ammonia. It has one nitrogen atom bound with three atoms of hydrogen. This is uh, uh, oxygen. They very, um, you very uh, often find it as a, uh, as a doublet here. This is uh, methane, uh, um, carbon with H4 hydrogens around it. And this is a little Mickey Mouse looking thing is a water, uh, H2O, uh, two H's and an oxygen. Um, and that's uh, both oxygen and hydrogen are gases, but when they're uh, when they're bound like this, they, it becomes water. Um, so, so, oops, wrong direction. Uh, all right, a uh, chemical reaction, a process in which atoms rearrange to form different molecules is a chemical reaction. Example, pulling molecules apart requires energy during photosynthesis, sunlight's energy breaks the bonds of uh, CO2, carbon dioxide, to pr produce O2, oxygen, and carbon. Um, combining atoms releases energy. Oxygen atoms combine with iron atoms to form rust. Uh, I mean, not only, I mean, you can see when you leave an apple out, the apple, a sliced apple, if you leave a sliced apple out, it turns brown, that's oxidation. Um, so it not only happens to iron, it happens to, to, to fruits and, uh, other items. Okay. Uh, so the our air is full of, uh, um, uh, you know, molecules. You can see there's carbon, carbon dioxide, uh, water, uh, nitrogen, uh, oxygen and argon. And these are the percentages. Most of it is nitrogen. Um, 21% of it is oxygen. We've got 0.9% of argon, uh, zero to four percent of uh, water H2O, and then 0.034% uh, of carbon dioxide CO2. Okay, let's. Uh, this I'm not going to stress much, but they discuss uh, matter um, and antimatter. Ant matter is composed of atoms with positive nuclei and negative electrons. Um, antimatter, every particle, electron, muon, up quark, uh, down quark, et cetera, has an antiparticle, which has opposite electric charge, but is otherwise identical. Uh, antimatter atoms have negatively charged nuclei surrounded by positrons, anti-electrons. Um, when matter and antimatter meet, they annihilate each other. So antimatter cannot exist in macroscopic quantities in our world. Uh, very very short-lived because of the pres presence of regular matter. Um, positrons have the same mass as an electron, but are positively charged. Antiprotons have the same mass as protons, but are negatively charged. Um, now, dark matter and dark energy. Uh, dark matter is a yet unidentified form of matter that only interacts gravitationally with ordinary matter. Dark matter comprises uh, about 23% of the mass uh, of, the, of the universe. Um, uh, dark energy is an anti-gravity energy comprising 73% of the energy in the universe. Now they come up with these because the calculations of what we see don't uh, exactly um, act the way they should. So it, it surmise that there's dark matter and dark energy and they're actively looking for it. Um, finding the nature of the dark matter and the nature of the energy of empty space are high priority quests in these times. What we will have learned by 2050 will likely dwarf all that we have ever known. Um, okay, and that's the end of uh, part four. We'll go ahead and end uh, the lecture here.